In this week, the first of MXTV bike reviews for the year, we take a look at the brand new 2009 KX250F from Kawasaki. Nearly every single piece of the 09 KX250F has been redesigned. This all new quarter litre flyer is even better, lighter and faster in 2009 and has been thoroughly reinvented with a new slimmer look, lighter handling, better ergonomics and a host of changes that enhance engine performance and improve durability. Starting with the new cylinder head that allows the engine to take much deeper breaths from its single lung. The power plant is hung in a new, slimmer aluminium perimeter frame and although its design certainly draws inspiration from its bigger brother, it's completely new and shares no parts with any other machine. The suspension features friction-reducing titanium and Kashima coatings. The best riders in the world demand a motocrosser that not only boasts the finest engine, chassis and suspension package, but also one that is also dripping with beautiful factory-style finishings. Kawasaki engineers realise this and their meticulous attention to detail is evident with factory-style graphics, new wider foot pegs and black triple clamps, plates, engine covers, hubs and wheels finishing off the package and complementing the KX250F's stellar on-track performance. For those of you that really want to make an impression, the KX250F is also available with a trick factory-style Monster Energy graphics kit. The KX250F is available in Australia now and retails for around $10,299. For a competitive quote on your insurance, call QBE Insurance, the motorcycle insurance specialists. OK, time to hear what our test riders have to say. This thing started first kick, which was uh, an interesting scenario. The engine was very, very good. It had lots of torque, considering it's only a 250, had lots of torque and lots of power. Pulled all the way through the rev range, right through to the end. But the suspension was really good. I'm always worried about the smaller bikes if the suspension is going to be able to handle my, my size frame. You know, it's about 85 kilos sometimes, but it handled it fantastically. The cockpit on this is, is very comfortable. It's, uh, you can notice how thin it is, and you can really feel the, the lack of weight, if you want to say. It just turns straight, rides straight, can change directions quickly. The weight and turning ability is really good. When it comes to the handling of the bike, when I first got on it, my initial thought was, it feels a bit fat in the front end. It just felt heavy and fat on the front end. Now, that's not a bad thing because it did it tracked really well. It Generally, on a on the most of the motocross bikes these days, we have a, a nylock, which is a, a a large nut that's got a strip of nylon around there that that keeps it from coming off in, with vibration, etc. Kawasaki have gone back to old school, which is just a standard nut with a big pin that goes through the middle of it. So you need to take the pin out before you can adjust your chain. Although it looks factory and, and it really does look trick brand new, my only concern is I think it'll wear quite quickly and I think it'll look old quite quickly, uh, especially with the black plastics, I think they'll scratch up. The power that this bike puts out is uh, quite good. It's got a lot of bottom end, a lot of mid end and uh, also a top end as well. It, um, being a 250, you seem to find that it runs out of legs quickly, but when you do gear up to the next gear, it certainly jumps and gets going straight away. Overall, loved it. Loved, absolutely loved it. it was, uh, the bike is um, so light, reasonably quick for a 250, could chop and change directions at the absolute drop of a hat. Excellent suspension, excellent handling, and I really enjoy the bike. How I found this bike overall, I found it very, very good. I thought it was fantastic. Very factory if you do over rev the bike, it's fantastic. I really, really like this as a 250. It's a great little package. I'd certainly buy one. We tried to keep him locked up, but with the 2009 models out, what could we do? We can't contain him any longer. It's time to let the pro go. Well, for the first test of the season, the KX250F pulls off a ripper at 2 minutes 30. Let's see what happens when the fro takes it down the quarter mile.
Oh, the little green machine rips out at 8.39. Not a bad effort from the Kawasaki, but will it be enough to stay on top? We'll have to wait and see.